Greetings. This is Nathan Taylor from the National Parachute Test Center, home of X-35, the Airborne School. Today we want to talk about safety, mainly jumper and tow. The owner-operator of the National Parachute Test Center, a research and development center for parachuting and parachute testing, Robert Matthews. At one time, he was the captain of the United States Parachute Team. He was an F-4 uh, jet pilot, a Marine jet pilot, and also a, a recon Marine. He's also a master um, parachute rigger. In 1962, he developed a procedure for rescuing a jumper in tow. And in this case, we're going to do the illustration on our uh, Cessna 180 that we use here at uh, X-35, the, the Airborne School, for doing the initial uh, jump training for some of the uh, jumps. So if we look down here, we can show you the components. It's composed mainly of a anchor system that has a cape rail release in it and also two D-rings. And so this is how the system works. The jumper comes to the aircraft and the jump master, prior to him jumping, would clip him in to the static line anchor system into the D-ring. The jumper would exit the plane, and then we see here now that we have a, a jumper in tow. And to make remedy, the jump master can just, if he sees that, for example, that the jumper is telling him, look, I'm okay, I, I'm ready to open my reserve, the jump master can simply activate the cape well and release the jumper instantaneously with very little effort at all. Okay, now we move on to a more serious situation in which the jumper, as we observe him, we can see that perhaps he's unconscious and he really needs help. And so for that, we bring in the reason for this second D-ring that we've added to our release. At, here at X-35 at the Airborne School, in the plane, we have another reserve that is set up with a static line on its reserve handle. And if we have a jumper in tow that's not responding, we hook up this static line that goes to a reserve handle. And then we clip in the reserve to this secondary D-ring and our release system. We set this system by the door and then we simply uh, activate the tape well releasing the jumper. This situation we end up static lining the reserve that is attached down to the jumper. And so now hopefully the jumper will either when he lands, he'll either have an activated main or uh, obviously the reserve that we put out for him. He could land with that, but if it opens up and pulls apart his main, then his main would open and he would land with either one of those two parachutes.